right, so welcome back. This time we're going to talk about enums. I like to pronounce them enums. Some people like to say enums, but I like enums. Uh, so enums are when you have a select number of options that something can be, you go ahead and make an enum for it. Uh, the enums in Swift are the most powerful I've seen in any language. So it's much more than like the enums that you might have seen in like C. So let's go ahead and start off. We'll open up our enums playground. Uh, not much here to start with. Let's go ahead and start by making an enum uh, called weekdays and just kind of see what the syntax looks like. Uh, so the way the syntax looks is you can say case uh, and then you can say uh, what one of the cases is. And so you can go through and you can type these out for each weekday. So the syntax is a little different than some other languages. You'll notice that there's no comma. Uh, stating the case by each way, uh, each word is one way to do it. If you would prefer to make it more compact, uh, you can actually define them all in the same line uh, if they're not going to have a unique value anyway. And you can just define them with commas in between. And that's a totally valid thing to do if you think that looks shorter. Let's go ahead and make a variable. Uh, I'll call my variable today. Uh, and so today is going to be of type weekday. Oops, I meant to say weekday, not weekdays. Uh, I want to keep my plurality correct for how to use enums. So there we created a variable uh, of type weekday. And then what I can do is I can say weekday.thursday, uh, or whatever day that it currently is for you. Uh, so today is Thursday for me, so I'll put it in as Thursday. There are a lot of different options for defining it. Uh, one thing you could have done, of course, is if you were going to define it like this, uh, you know, may as well do it in one line if you're going to do it that way. Uh, but if you were going to define that it was in the enum of type weekday first, then one trick you can use is you don't actually have to say the weekday, you can just say the dot Thursday. And this is true throughout a lot of different things in Swift, is you can actually leave off uh, the first part and you can just say dot and then the enum value, which is kind of neat. The main way you use enum values is with the switch statement. Uh, so you make a switch with different cases. There's a couple things that are different about uh, Swift, of course. Uh, so one is that if you're making a case, uh, you can actually just say uh, case, uh, and then you can say dot Monday, so you don't have to say the whole thing. You are required to have something inside of here, uh, so we're just going to go ahead and print out. Uh, you have class, so it's yelling at me for a couple reasons. Uh, one is I don't have a colon on there. Uh, the other is, is that I'm not catching all the different values. If you want to catch different values, you can use the word default. Uh, so this is the same as, as many programming languages. If you wanted to print nothing, you could say break, uh, because you're required to have something in there. So I could say break. But you'll notice that before I didn't say break, uh, that was actually OK. And that's because the word break is not necessary in Swift. It does not fall through. Uh, and so you don't have to worry about saying break. Um, if you wanted to catch multiple things in the line the way you do it in another language is you would say like, you know, case Tuesday right after it. But since it doesn't have fall through, you actually would have to use a comma and put them on the same line. So let's pretend like you have class on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then we'll uh, just kind of say a catch for Wednesday. We'll say something different uh, and we'll just say uh, weekend Wednesday, uh, so no class on Wednesday. Uh, and then for, for the default case, if you wanted to, you could leave it with break, uh, or you could make it say something. Uh, and so there's kind of the basics of a switch statement. Uh, and you could, of course, play with it in your playground. So if you change it to Friday, uh, it'll go down there. Uh, if you change it to Wednesday, uh, it'll drop to the middle area. If you said Tuesday, it'll catch it the same way it did with Thursday at the top. So that's kind of the basics of a switch statement. One thing that is different about Swift versus a couple other switch, or sorry, enums, is they're not ints by default. Usually in most languages, they're ints. Uh, Monday would have the value 0, and then 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4. Um, in Swift, since they don't have a type, uh, they're, they're not anything under the hood, right? It turns out that if you wanted to, you could actually define uh, what they are under the hood. So let's just kind of make another one just really quick. Uh, we'll just make a state, uh, and we'll say that there's ready, uh, there's set, uh, and there's go. In this case, what I've done is I've chosen to use ints. Uh, when you use an int, uh, you'll kind of get the behavior that you did in other languages. If I define this one to be 0, uh, then this one's going to get 1, this one's going to get 2. Now that they actually have an underlying value, what I can do is I can, I can say, like, what is the, you know, the race state? Uh, I could set its state to, say, set. Uh, and then if I've got a raw value underneath, uh, I could actually print that out. 
uh, and it will just say 1. And then, of course, since you've got an underlying uh, raw value, you could use that to create the enum if you wanted. So if I wanted to, I could actually construct uh, a state from a raw value. So let's just say I wanted to use you know, his raw value uh, and add 1 to it. Uh, you can see that by default, when you construct uh, a num in this way, uh, you get an optional. There are a lot of ways to deal with optionals. In this case, I'm just going to do the simplest, which is forced unwrapping. I'm just going to say, you must have worked. I know that you worked. Forced unwrap yourself. Um, and then if we wanted to, you know, we could check to make sure that he is really equal to the state go, uh, and we could print something out assuming he's go. So I'll print go, go, go. Uh, and you can see it does print out because he is equal to the state go. So that's kind of the basics uh, of enums. Uh, enums get used a ton with switch statements. Um, and then also, if you wanted to on your enum, you can define uh, a raw value underneath. And it doesn't have to be int. It could be string. It could be you know whatever you wanted, right? So it does uh, a lot of new flexibility uh, with Swift and enums. Come back next time. We'll show you a lot more things you can do with enums.